Hello guys and welcome back to Gadget Board. So in today's episode we're going to talk about Nokia. As of today, you may have already know that Nokia is back and now it's making Android phones. In fact, it made one of the most popular and affordable Android phones back in 2017 with the Nokia 6. And now, the Nokia 6 is back, or at least the successor of the Nokia 6 is back. It's called the Nokia 6.1. It looks and feels a lot like its predecessor. It's a 5.5 inch phone that is made of metal, feels very thin and runs on Android 1, a clean, bloatware-free version of Android that is first in line when it comes to future updates. The Nokia 6.1 is also more powerful than its predecessor and can now record 4K video. All of that sounds great for a phone that costs just $270. But are there any hidden pitfalls that you should look out for? Stay tuned to find out. The Nokia 6.1 follows closely in the footstep of the original Nokia 6. It has a solid metal construction with sharp edges, flat sides, and a thin profile. The two phones are not exactly the same. The Nokia X.1 is slightly shorter, but they feel very, very similar. Overall, the design of the 6.1 feels sturdy, but those sharp edges give it a more masculine look, and we feel that the new contenders like the Moto G6 series with their sleek glass and metal construction radiate a more premium feel, while the Nokia 6.1 design feels a bit conservative. The display quality is probably the biggest compromise that you have to make with the Nokia 6.1. While we are not bothered by the slightly bigger top and bottom bezels around the screen, we found that this display has a very noticeable blue tint, and that colors on it looks noticeably washed out. Unlike other phones, there are no different screen modes to choose from here, so you are stuck with the default settings. You also get a noticeable motion blur when you scroll through menus. We don't know whether this is due to our lower refresh rate or to some other issues, but it's one more thing that you do notice. Let's be clear, the screen is not terrible. No, it's just that rifles have boosted the envelope higher at even this price with screens that looks better. And this display is not quite on par with that higher standard. The Nokia 6.1 features a single 16 megapixel camera with an aperture of 2.0 on the back, and there's an 8 megapixel wide angle front camera. You can quickly start the camera app by double pressing the power lock key, and the camera app itself is pretty straightforward with a one notable addition of a dual camera shooting mode, where the display gets built in half, allowing you to take picture or video simultaneously with the front and back cameras. The result is a split-screen view that Nokia calls a bothy, with the idea that you shoot some other person and your own self, or the both of you, hence the bothy. There are only two other cameras mode, a panorama mode and a pro mode, where you can manually focus, select white balance, ISO, shutter speed, and exposure compensation values. The Nokia 6.1 sells an unlocked phone for $217 on Amazon and Best Buy. We feel that the $250 to $300 range is the lowest price point when you get the acceptable quality without any major compromises and there are actually some great alternative to the 6.1 if you are looking for a phone at this price. At the end of the day, the Nokia 6.1 brings some welcome improvements over the predecessor. A faster processor, 4K video and fast charging are definitely things that makes the new 6.1 a much better phone. Unfortunately, there is one big compromise that you have to make with the Nokia 6.1. It's display. It looks bluish, with washed out colors. We understand that you cannot expect wonders from the display of an affordable phone, and while this screen is certainly not a deal breaker, raffles have raised the bar, and the Nokia 6.1 display is just not quite on par. Plus, 
there's no way to fix this issue in the settings. If you can live with that, the Nokia 6.1 has the performance and even the camera to impress at this price point, but that's one big if. But anyway, what do you guys think? Leave us your thought in the comment section below. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video and please subscribe to our channel for more info and update. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next time.